I come to Capital Congress to help showcase this beautiful art of our culture from the Punjab. I think once you step into the Bhangra world, it's quite addictive. You can't step away from it. It's just about giving back, you know, and just putting your part in for the community, really. I wanted to be part of Bhangra, whatever way I could. You know, I really want to help out. Capital Bhangra. Like we're putting a platform on for teams and giving people opportunities, this is your opportunity to step up and do stuff. So those of you who've got certain roles, Anna, who's our backstage manager this year, he's going to be running everything tomorrow. Villa's side stage manager, which means you'll see him in a completely different light. You'll only ever see him when you go side stage. <coughs> Everyone has a vital role to play. I want you to use your initiative as much as you can. If you think something ain't working, don't worry about going to ask me this, that or the other. Try and use your initiative, make it work. Um, if it's something else that's quite serious, you do need to speak to someone, then your backstage manager is your point of contact. Tonight is all about trying to make teams feel comfortable, making them mix with one another and, you know, kind of just have a good time, but meet other people. Capital Pongra, those of you who know a bit about the competition know we've, we've been up for three years now. Yeah. Um, getting bigger and better every time. The main reason we kind of started Capital Pongra was to really give people, uh, university teams, a chance to compete show what they can do, you know, there's been an increased number of university teams come up in the last few years. So to kind of give all them a chance to showcase what they can do. And what we like to try and pride ourselves on as well is the fact that we like to let people have a lot of fun while they're doing it. So hopefully today you're going to have a lot of fun. Hopefully tomorrow you're going to have a lot of fun. Well today this is the pre-event mixer, so the teams are all getting together. Uh, they're going to switch up so they're not just sitting in their own little circles, they'll get to meet a few different people. Taking a few pictures, going through the pools and the goodie bags and stuff. Um, later on we're going to have some games, maybe some dancing and yeah, it's just mingling. Um, opportunities for everyone to get to know each other, mingle around, enjoy themselves before the competition tomorrow. Sometimes you can get so engrossed in your own team that you forget about other people. I think it's good to mix in, share experiences, you know, find out about other people, how they do things. And just generally talking and you know just making friends I think that's what it's all about it's enjoying yourself you don't really get a chance to kind of see you know another team from, that lives um, six hours away from you so the idea of tonight is just to kind of get the teams together it gets a good team harmony you know inter team harmony going between them and it also gives them a chance to kind of you know there might be two people from the same city on different teams and they might want to move back from uni and start some work together which is ultimately developing the scene the main thing that what we've done about the mixer is it's for the dancers it's like we want them to have fun we want them to feel at ease we want them to socialize with one another my role for cv this year has been um, being backstage manager on the day of the competition so today what i'm going to be doing is just kind of make sure everything's going to be running smoothly everyone's enjoying themselves this year I'm side stage manager, so that basically means, you know, making sure the show runs on time. The, you know, the people who have got to be on stage are there. Um, so it's quite demanding, but it's a good experience, and you learn a lot from it as well. Me and Gabu, the guy behind the camera, we're just like making the video. I'm part of the marketing team. So both of us are photographers. I think he's a DJ. I think he's DJ Frenzy. <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> <laughs> I danced at the first ever Capital Pongra uh, with EBC, who are dancing again for the third year. And I had such a blast, I enjoyed it so much that I wanted to come back and give something back to Capital. I just enjoy being around people who have the same kind of mentality as me and I think that's the whole kind of atmosphere that I want to be part of. I have a passion for Pongra. I've always enjoyed it from my first degree at university. Um, I went to see a competition and when I saw the teams on stage I was just taken aback by their energy, you know, by their smiles, by everything and I wanted to be part of Bhangra whatever way I could, whether that was a, as a dancer or, you know, um, a choreographer or whatever, just wanted to be part of it. I'm also here to help give that platform for these teams that elsewhere they won't be able to get into positions to compete but now they've got that chance and I want to be part of 
making you know making them progress in their Bhangra career as dancers. The main reason I've, I'm kind of involved is I've finished, finished university and stuff and I really want to kind of be involved in trying to help the scene develop. So kind of helping sort of university competition was a re really good thing for me in that um, you get to kind of give what you've learned from previous years in that you know there's so many things you know we've done competitions before we've, we've been to university competitions before we've learned things uh, we want to try new things at the same time and we want to kind of build up the scene as well i think the same thing really like a lot of us have been fortunate enough to dance a professional team so whether it's competing national level you know judging competitions and stuff like that but it's just about giving back you know and just putting your part in for the community really um i am currently at university at the moment but I, I do a lot of dancing and stuff outside and when I started uni I got into Bhangra and then I did TBS, I did Wars and I was like, and I saw Capital and I was like, do you know what, I really want to help out and just see what it's like to be behind the scenes. Well to me, I'm a Bhangra holic as they say, so I love it. For me it is godlike. I wake up, people pray in the morning, I do Bhangra in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually so true. <laughs> People wake up and say, "Auntie, congrats." We're here at the Queen Mary's venue, just about you know waiting to get in. Teams already started arriving, queuing up, and yeah, it's gonna be a fun filled day. Bhangra is like my stress like outlet because like we all have like crazy degrees and we all have a lot of like contact time and stuff. And then in the evenings, like we can come like home, chill, and then we can go out and rehearse, and we really look forward to it. I don't think I've ever woken up that early, and I went uni, so. I was, uh, I was obviously a bit a bit tired, so two, two cups of coffee, one cup of char, and breakfast. I'm fine. I'm, fine. I'm just excited just to like, get ready for like, costumes, makeup, just dance in front of like, all these people. Can we go four minutes into the mix, please? Four minutes into the mix, if that's okay. As is my first competition, I'm a little nervous, but also very, very excited. Um, experience so far has been pretty good. Um, we've been well taken care of. It's been a little nerve-wracking because it's our first time performing. Straight, 100% excited. I've got bad butterflies. <laughs> There's so many butterflies. The buzz, everyone's just going crazy. Everyone's ready to perform. Every single time you hear someone's mix going on, like, you're making a routine to it. It's, it's really good. Backstage, someone starts singing, then other teams will join in. It was just like kind of like one big family, no matter what team you're from. Even though you've got different clothes, a couple of them, like, it's all one family at the end of the day. The buzz that you get from the audience and the people that you make as friends as here is amazing. Everyone goes as this one community and all it's about is Bhangra. That's what's amazing about it. Like, I got other people from other teams to help me do my job and stuff. It was, it was really good because then it helps other people learn and it's all about progressing really. It's a chance to meet so many new people from so many different backgrounds. Like, obviously we come from Leicester, we are meet people from like Canada or Edinburgh. So it's just like, a good way for everyone to come together over one dance. Beautiful. Keep the smiles on your faces, Stiff enjoy it, own, own that stage man, own it, yeah it's out. Straight down. You did it man, you did it. 
So you just come on stage. We do. The team just come on stage. How do you feel? Amazing. Amazing. Oh my gosh. It's just like you couldn't stop smiling. It went so, I think it went so quickly. More, like more quickly than it's ever done before. Oh yeah. But it's amazing. First, it's my first time. I loved it. Loved it. The build up was slower than the, the routine. The routine went and you know what? Everything you get taught kind of is just like in muscle memory. It's done. It is. You don't even think about it. You don't even think about it. I didn't think about a single thing you on that stage. You just think about smiling and looking at your Jordy and, and it was, oh, just it was great. nice to have like about, I've got about 15 family in the audience and it was nice to look at them at the end and be like, this, yeah, like, this is what we achieved. And I'm definitely so proud of the person next to me and I think everyone's probably the same. Oh, it was amazing. amazing. How do you feel? Um, tired but amazing. It went so quickly. Yeah? Yeah, it went so quickly. I'm just happy now that like, it was all so like exciting. What was it like? <laughs> amazing. And we had so much support this time. It just made it so much better. Having that, all that support, everyone coming down to see us and then family here to see us. It amazing. just made it all easier to be on stage. I'll do it again and again. Thank you, Kabul Bangada. Thank you for accepting us. We're grateful for giving us a platform. I'm sure we can come back again next year better and stronger. So you just got stage at Kabul Bangada 2014. How do you feel? Good experience, man. Good experience. Had a good time. Could have done a bit better. <coughs> See you. Yeah. Had a good time, time though, man. Said you before. It's a good experience. Yeah. And uh, if you could sum up this whole competition, in one word, what would it be? What's your word? <laughs> probably say Punjab, man. Because well, so. uh, yeah, Punjab. Because that's what it's all about. Colorful, vibrant, people happy. That's what Punjab should be about. Obviously, nowadays Punjab's not like that. There's a lot of drugs, a lot of alcohol, stuff like that, a lot of corruption. But hopefully, we can try and bring back a bit of roots and spread a message. And when you say Punjab, are you talking about like that little biscuit Punjab? Like the modern day Punjab. Or? Yeah. What I'd say. No, is bring back the old Punjab, basically. <laughs> what I'd say is community, because obviously, like in our team now, we've got non-Punjabis dancing for us, and you can see in the other teams, there's loads of non-Punjabis being represented. So it's not even just about the Punjabis. Yeah. There's, like, there's a lot bringing of people together. Bringing together yeah. So yeah, it brings everyone together. Community. Southampton Bangura Society, Edinburgh Bangura Crew, the Aston Bangura Society, just come behind me, switch on the stage, right up. Rangile Punjabade, Kanthe Wale Gabru, Bradford University, and the Keel Bangura Society.
the winners and champions of Capital Pongra 2014, Aston! <laughs> I'm speechless. I'll be honest. We won! How do you feel, bro? I feel good, I feel good. It's a long year, long year. Big, big jump from last year, so I'm happy. Third place showdown and winners of Capital, man. Definitely, man. Definitely. It's been a good year. It's been a good year. That's it. No more. I can have a day off tomorrow. It's alright. Aston, ABS, man. Number one. Number one. How do you feel? Exactly! <laughs> exactly! That's how we feel. Same, bro. What are you saying? What are you saying? So, guys, trying to have first win. Captain Pongra, Aston. Captain Pongra 2014, done and dusted. What was it like being uh, backstage, man? Stressful in a bit, but this is why I did it because I love it. I love Captain Pongra. I love being part of this atmosphere and just to kind of have fun and just see how the audience loved it out there. Best feeling ever. Best feeling ever. On to Capital Bunga 2015. I come to Capital Bunga um, to hope. Okay, I guess I guess. That's so bad, Dad. That's so bad. Cut that out. Cut that out. Yeah. That's going in. And as you can see, everyone's having a really boring time. And that's that's what it's all about, to be honest. You go home, get changed, <laughs> and then go home. Or <laughs> <laughs> we'll go home and get changed. Oh, yeah. www.notstuffanddub.co.uk Alright, go on there, sign up. Sign up at your actual name. Sign up for your name. Yeah, at NPCO UK. Notstuffanddub.co.uk. Follow it.